Hi, in my previous videos, I've talked about dendritic cell and the way of antigen presenting using class 2 MHC molecules. But in this video, I'll be talking about the cross presentation of antigens by the dendritic cells. So it's a different kind of phenomena which has its own benefit. So let's look at what is cross presentation at a cellular and at a molecular level. This is a dendritic cell and dendritic cell is a professional antigen presenting cell. That means whether we have antigens present from a bacteria or virus, dendritic cell would try to phagocytose those kind of pathogens and take their antigen in, inside and ultimately present the antigen on top of a class 2 MHC molecule. And this is presented to the CD4 helper T cells. And this is the normal method of presentation of the exogenous antigen by, by the dendritic cell. But there, are, there could be, under certain circumstances, a different way of presentation in which dendritic cell present its antigen on a class 1 MHC molecule and rather than presenting it to a CD4 positive helper cell, it is presenting it to a CD8 positive cytotoxic T cell. Now, it has its own consequence and we would discuss about the mechanism and consequence. So, stay tuned till the end of this video. Now, there are two hypotheses which tells us why this kind of cross presentation is important and how it can be done. So, one hypothesis tells that there are totally dedicated machinery in some dendritic cells that allow this kind of cross presentation. That is one type of hypothesis. But there is other hypothesis which states that that this kind of cross presentation is happening and the antigens that need to be cross presented is loaded in a phagosome like vesicles inside the cell. So both these models have their own uh, sub experimental support behind them but both of them are partially correct. Still what is the exact mechanism? It's unknown. Now let's take a look at it. So here is a CD4 positive T helper cell. And this CD4 positive T helper cell is getting activated by the MHC bound antigen which is presented to the CD8 positive helper T cell by the dendritic cell. And after that what would happen? The CD8, CD4 positive T cell would actually activate B cells and that would secrete antibodies. Now let's look at what changes are happening in the dendritic cell. Now in the dendritic cell which is marked here there could be different changes. For example, the dendritic cell has engulfed some antigens which is, which is derived from pathogen or nearby dead cells or anything. Now these antigens would be endocytosed and they would be entering a phagosome. And inside the phagosome, they are generally loaded onto the class 2 MHC and displayed on the surface. But in this particular case or in special cases, in special type of dendritic cell, there could be certain transporters which would allow these antigens which are present in the phagosome to move out to the cytoplasm. There they encountered the immunoproteosome and the proteosome degrade those proteins. As a result, these degraded protein can enter the endoplasmic reticulum or even the same phagosome via TAP transporter which is very important for class 1 MHC presentation. And Inside the ER, the peptide loading can take place in the MHC class 1 or inside the phagosome, the peptide loading can take, plus, take place on the MHC class 1. And either of these routes can be chosen to display it onto the dendritic cell surface. And this is how the dendritic cell, which is supposed to present the antigen on class 2 MHC, is now presenting the antigen on class 1 MHC. Now you understand where is the crisscross part of this cross presentation. Now people think or there are experimental evidences to suggest this cross loading of antigenic peptides takes place onto the class 1 MHC inside the phagosomes. So phagosomes are super important in terms of cross presentation. Now via the cross presentation the dendritic cell is able to present its antigenic peptide to the CD8 positive cytotoxic T cell. Now, what is the advantage of that, this kind of cross presentation method? 
there could be certain advantages. For example, this particular dendritic cell has sampled a nearby tissue and found that a particular tissue was virus infected. So it can sample the antigens from these viral infected dead cell and quickly present it to CD8 positive cytotoxic T cell such that CD8 T cell can take a quick action and kill those virus infected cell. Now, this is the most important advantage of the dendritic cell presenting a uh, cross presenting the antigen but cross presenting has also disadvantages for example it can always make the dendritic cell more vulnerable of lysis by the cd8 positive t helper cell other than that if the dendritic cell start presenting self antigen on top of class 1 mhc then there would be a big mess and there would be the total breakdown of tolerance mechanism, then CD8 positive T cell would recognize self antigens as foreign and it would kill the cell which is presenting it. So it could be also detrimental. So this process need to be highly regulated. Now one thing should come into our mind that whether this kind of process is well conserved between all the antigen presenting cells or is it only present in the dendritic cell. And it turns out this kind of process is not conserved across all the antigen presenting cells. Even in terms of dendritic cell, only a minute subpopulation of dendritic cell can cross present the antigen. As if this small subpopulation has a license to cross present. Okay, if this is true that these subpopulation of dendritic cell has their presentation license or cross presentation license then who is the license provider it turns out the license provider is none other than the cd8 positive helper t cell the cd8 positive helper t cell recognize the antigen on class 2 mhc molecule and gets activated by themselves right and after activation they want to return the favor by secreting several cytokines such as il2 this IL-2 cytokine actually binds to the specific IL-2 receptor on the dendritic cell and increase its capability or augments the molecular mechanism that would help in cross-presentation. And that is how cross-presentation is done in case of subpopulation of the dendritic cell. Right? This is how dendritic cell achieve the license to present uh, in the subpopulation. So we learned in this video that cross-presentation is the ability of the dendritic cell to present the antigenic peptides on a class 1 MHC. Even though the dendritic cells are trained to present their antigens on class 2 MHC, but under certain circumstances, it is advantageous for the dendritic cell to present the antigen on class 1 MHC. And this kind of presentation is known as cross presentation. We looked at its advantage and disadvantages. The biggest disadvantage it only not only make itself more, more vulnerable towards lysis but also if by mistake it starts presenting a self peptide then the tolerance mechanism would be broken and there could be autoimmune responses in the body so i hope you enjoyed this video on cross presentation and the video was clear if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up and don't forget to like share and subscribe and do let me know in the comment how do you like my videos thank you